introducing you to the Ritchie Cavern Gate. Uh, Cavern Gate allows you to work in a very safe manner when you're either calving a cow or you're having to spend time putting a calf on to suck or indeed some other husbandry tasks like stripping out a quarter. The calving gate that we we'll have here on display behind me is uh, our standard unit which is uh, three metres wide. We also do a four and a half metre unit. Uh, the calving gates when they're installed can either be part of a permanent system or they can be part of a portable system like what I've set up behind me here. Uh, if it's a portable system, one thing you need to consider is anchoring it uh, to something solid so it doesn't move. When you're creating the pen, one of the important things to consider is the depth of the pen. You need to have or need to allow sufficient room at the back of the cow when she's held, sufficient room to work a calving aid such as a calving jack or whatever. On this portable system we've got on display, I'm using standard cattle hurdles to form the pen and you'll see at the back of the pen I've put a hurdle in place with a gate and if I had to use a calving jack I would open the gate and it gives me sufficient room to operate safely. I'll begin by taking you over the neck yoke that we have on the calving gate. The neck yoke that we have here you can have it set that it's either in the float position which means that when a a cow puts her head in, she can take it out freely. Uh, or alternatively, I can put it into the uh, self-locking position. Self-locking, I flick this handle over and that puts me into the self-lock. That's now the neck yoke locked. The neck yoke itself can be uh, manually locked we have a chain link here that you can put an 8mm poly rope onto. There's a chain link on the back of the frame here and a chain link on the gate so that if you're in the pen with the animal, you can actually pull a rope to lock the yoke, just in case she doesn't put her head down. The yoke, when it's in the locked position, you'll see it's in the parallel, which means that should an animal go down on you, if a cow goes down on you, there's nothing to catch a windpipe and choke her. The width of the yoke is also adjustable. By removing this linchpin, I can actually uh, adjust the width of the yoke and narrow it or widen it, whichever I need. Pop the linchpin back in place, that's it held. The next feature on to talk about on the calving gate is the, gate, the front gate itself. This forms the front of the pen, but when you want to operate the, the unit of a spring-loaded slip bolt, I hinge the gate round into position. We supply a chain, a securing chain, which I would wrap round the opposite hurdle and I would drop into the keyhole slot that we have on the gate in order to lock. The cow now being in position, if we are in an unfortunate situation of having to have a caesarean section performed uh, to give the vet good access, we pull out this pin and the tube is removable and the vet has good access into the side of the animal for, this, for doing the section. I'll pop this back into position and the locking pin goes back in place. To get access to the, uh, the udder for putting a calf on to suck or if you're having to strip out a quarter, this section lifts vertically up and it folds round into position and it is self-locking. Please note there is absolutely nothing there, there's no obstruction below this rail. One of the benefits with having the gate operating like this is actually when you uh, are op opening the gate in the first place because when the gate is in the locked position out here forming the pen front many of you will have straw deep straw in there what you can do is open this section first 
before sweeping this gate round, which means you've no obstruction, the gate will freely come round. So that's the main features and benefits of the Ritchie Cavan Gate. Should you need any further information, please contact any of our area sales managers or alternatively, give us a call in the office number in Forford. We'd be delighted to talk with you.